We are a grassroots organization made up of people with disabilities and their loved ones. We live in the area of Toulouse, France. We have organized into a not-for-profit organization by the name Antisocial. We have been individually court ordered to pay heavy fines that have caused us to be unable to come to the Freedom Drive for financial reasons. We were also impeded by the lack of handicap accessible transportation. Therefore, we are using this opportunity you have offered us to express ourselves to Europe. We are hereby reporting an alarming situation about our living conditions in France. We are committed to improving our living conditions and those of all persons with disabilities. We are forced to be activists and to organize acts of non-violent civil disobedience. We are no longer working to improve our conditions, but only to hold on to certain rights we obtained in the past. Some of these rights have been removed, while others severely amputated by our current French government. We contested the rolling back of our rights and tried to be heard by taking non-violent actions as activists. As a result, we have already been ordered to pay a 750 euros fine. This is equivalent to almost an entire month's income. In addition, we are at risk of being in prison for up to five years with an 18,000 euros fine per person. On December 14th, 2018, we were able to enter Toulouse Blanac Airport as a result of a huge security breach that was left unintended by the airport. We alerted the proper authorities prior to entering by the open and secured gate. Prior to this action, we had alerted our political representative in Parliament. We brought to light the government's lies regarding alleged motives quoted within new laws and regulations. We exposed the reality of laws and rules and the rolling back of other rights. We cited the official positions taken by the National Defender of Rights, the National Council for Human Rights and the European Council. Tired of seeing our rights erode, We tried to show our anger and desperation by entering an open gate with journalists present. We showed our faces to cameras. We prepared the symbolic act in a manner that was intended to bring harm to no one. We hoped the international community would hear us because our own country does not. Our nation is accusing us of interfering with freedom of movement and breach of our safety. However, our right to freely move is blocked on a daily basis. Each day, each hour of our existence in our country, we are prevented from moving freely. Some examples are public transportation is often not handicap accessible, 97% of Paris metro and many others are not accessible. The sum of obstacles still in our way remains obstacles 44 years after the first law was passed intended to allow us to move about freely like all other citizens. We are blocked by stairs, narrow pathways and sidewalks that remain not accessible. Furthermore, our safety is at risk. Many persons with disabilities are mistreated and abused in institutions and at home. Accessing healthcare is a reoccurring problem exacerbated by poverty for the majority. Consequences are dire for the health of those people. However, who condemns the French government about this? Beyond a few examples cited, The current government does not respect our basic rights, nor the ratified international convention in this regard. 
Since President Macron and his team have been in power, we have seen our rights unravel. The first, not the least, our right to housing. The Elan Law from November 23rd, 2018 divides by five the percentage of new housing that will be built to accessible standards, whereas the previous law required 100% of housing to be accessible. Our income for subsistence is substantially below poverty. For those that are the most dependent among us, certain resources called resource complements have been cut altogether. That will be a loss of 80 euros per month. Disability income will be removed in favor of lesser income. The freedom to live autonomously in a place of our own choosing is a mirage in today's France. These observations were shared by Catalina de Vanda Saguila, UN Special Rapporteur for the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. After visiting friends in an official capacity, she expressed concern about segregation persons with disabilities are faced with in our country. She also worried about the lack of fundamental rights being granted and deprivation of civil rights. Institutionalization is the fate of the majority. We accuse the French government of organizing in home abuse by not adjusting the compensation of handicap assistance. It has been increased by 20 cents in 13 years. It has very restrictive criteria. We can no longer count the number of complaints received about unacceptable situations with regards to human rights violations. So 10 companies that purport to represent the voice of persons with disabilities while making money providing services failed to send the human assistance needed by dependent persons at home. Other companies send a different person each day so there is no continuity of care. Rights hold one or not or not. For example, the right to accommodations for a disability are not acted upon. They don't have meaningful impact on out-of-pocket expenditure with which we are faced. Financial help to adapting a car, a home or other technical devices is refused. Right now, in France, people are suffering. Some die because of the lack of help granted for their specific needs. One of our members has recently died in spite of our multiple public alerts. The list is long. In spite of observations from the European Council, the UN report and the concern expressed by the French national rights defender, the French government has not changed course. We want to call out for help from the international community. We also want France, a country known for human rights, to apply the United Nations Convention for Rights of Persons with Disabilities, ratified in 2010. We also want equal rights to those of all citizens of Europe. We want to live outside of institutions or debtors with decent means. We, too, want to live decently with dignity. We want what everyone wants to live autonomously as free individuals who participate in society. We want the accommodations that will permit such a life. We simply want to live instead of subsist or die from the sheer absence of consideration given to our basic needs. So, for all those listening in Europe, share this information, inform others and take a stand that is loud and strong against what is happening in France. We are crying out for your help. Several persons with disabilities and their loved ones are already required to pay heavy fines for defending human rights. We are at risk of being sent to jail for several years and being fined tens of thousands of euros because we simply defended human rights. 
We need political help, media help, and financial help. Help us. Help yourselves.